For the past 25 years, the International Space Station, ISS, has been a home for astronauts and a hub for scientific experiments in low Earth orbit. However, its future is now under evaluation by NASA, with plans to decommission and safely dispose of it. This marks the end of an era in international cooperation in space exploration. The ISS, a collaborative effort involving the US, Russia, Canada, Japan, and Europe, is seen as a symbol of international unity. Launched in 1998, the station has far exceeded its expected lifespan of 15 years. Its continuous habitation has been a testament to the enduring partnership between the US and Russia despite geopolitical tensions. Currently, plans suggest the ISS will conclude its mission in 2030. NASA, the Canadian Space Agency, and the European Space Agency commit to operating until this date. However, the Russian space agency Roscosmos has committed only until 2028, introducing a timeline discrepancy that adds complexity to the decommissioning process. As NASA considers commercial proposals for decommissioning, costing nearly $1 billion, the process becomes both a technical and diplomatic challenge. The delicate operation involves safely bringing down the massive structure to burn up in Earth's atmosphere. This decision underscores the impracticality of keeping the ISS in orbit indefinitely. Saying goodbye to the ISS is a bit sad, but it's an important move for space exploration. We're waiting to hear how NASA plans to retire it. The ISS leaves behind a legacy of teamwork among countries, showing that we can work together for science, despite our differences. The International Space Station is the largest single structure that humans have ever put into space. It is in orbit around the Earth, circling the globe every 90 minutes at a tremendous speed. Like most space programs, ISS is proof of the lengths we will go to in the quest for knowledge. The space station has made it possible for people to have an ongoing presence in space. NASA will use lessons learned on the ISS to prepare for human missions that reach farther into space than ever before. As with exploring any unknown terrain or space, there are bound to be encounters with the unknown. And now, the ISS might also be the place that has finally provided us with answers to the age-old question, are we alone? The answer being a faint, but terrifying no. Over the years, along with the hunt for knowledge, the ISS has also made us aware of bizarre, unexplainable occurrences in space of flying objects of unhuman origins. The most recent such incident is one that provides on-video proof of an eerie vessel floating above the ISS. The International Space Station's live video feed allows space enthusiasts to view the Earth and outer space via cameras that are fitted underneath the orbiting structure. On multiple occasions, there have been sightings of objects with UFO enthusiasts claiming them to be alien visitors. A number of times, NASA has appeared to have severed the live video feed. That is not suspicious since that could be credited to a number of technical reasons. Except this time, the feed was cut just seconds after the strange object came into the camera's view. Alien hunter Tyler Glockner has stated that NASA had been doing this for years and this is not the first time such a thing has happened. He went on to say that sometimes the people monitoring the feed are simply not quick enough, and on several occasions, UFOs have been visible for quite some time before the screen goes blue and the feed is cut. This footage appeared to show NASA cutting the live feed, when a strange yellow craft appeared to be docked to the space station. And this is not the only strange incident. In April 2016, 20-year-old Jaden Beeson from Worcestershire, England, was viewing the Live International Space Station feed on his mobile phone when he suddenly stared at the screen in disbelief. Something appeared to be moving away from the space station. Beeson claims he had spotted what looked like a metal spaceship. The object was visible for a whole two minutes and had a blue glow emanating from its shiny surface. 
Beeson was quick to take a screenshot of the footage, which he then sent straight to NASA in hopes for an explanation as to what he saw. As of today, he is still awaiting a reply. The STS-114 boomerang is another such bizarre incident. Due to previous tragedies, NASA had noticeably improved what were already tight safety procedures. Thanks to this, it was noticed almost immediately when a piece of foam had appeared to break away upon Discovery's launch. Before doing so, Commander Eileen Collins performed a maneuver that flipped the shuttle over, exposing its underside to allow photographs to be taken from the space station so as to search for any damage. When the pictures were studied, the damage was confirmed, leading astronaut Steve Robinson to venture out into space to carry out repairs. Following Robinson's repairs of the shuttle, a strange object was caught on a NASA camera. The object appeared stark white against the black backdrop of space. It flew by the shuttle at a distance, and then appeared to stop briefly before changing its direction. This peculiar movement led to the object being nicknamed the boomerang. After investigating the footage, NASA stated the object was. Any guesses? Yes, space debris. However, the object's abrupt change of direction was proof that it was intelligently guided. NASA is using the space station to learn more about living and working in space. It might help us in discovering a lot more than we previously thought. But what do I know? Orbit Beyond the Blue